up you guys this is Julie the Brilliant and today I'm gonna show you how to find ARC coefficients of the binomial you might have not even learned this at school because they, they don't really teach if we look at the let's say club college algebra review material they have four ways to do it but I don't show this special Indian trick. Okay, guys, so never mind this um, recycling paper. By the way, recycle when you can. So here we have a problem 6x uh, squared plus 7x minus 3. And we need to factor this out. So how do we do it? My favorite method of all, um, this is my first favorite method. My second is the, we got quadratic formula, but that's uh, when this doesn't work. So I always try this one. So what we need right now, multiply A and B. This is, we have our A coefficient of the polynomial. This is C and this we got B. So we need to have A times C and this uh, we need to have uh, B. So here we go. Um, we need to find out these numbers. So, you know, sometimes you can easily see. Um, but, um, okay, so let's, let's do this. 6 times minus 3. Don't forget the parentheses so you don't lose your sign. Um, 6 times minus 3 is minus 18 and then we need to have 7 here um, okay because this is the sum of our once we factor two things so okay let's write 7 here and then um, uh, I well, I mean, I can see right away that um, minus two times nine is going to be when you add minus two uh, and nine, you're gonna get seven. You know, so um, this number gotta be the sum of these numbers, and this is the multiplication. So b is the sum of these numbers. And um, then what we do, now when we have the degree like this, the next step, so this is the first step, like find, and let's say you can't find what, what numbers when you multiply, you get this one number, and what numbers when you add, you get this number. So then you can like write and list like they are like, you know, um, elimination method. You try different variations. Let's say you find the fact, what are the factors of six and like three and two and six and one and the factors of C is minus three, one, minus one and three. And then what are the, um, yields when you add like, what is the sum of seven? Then you gotta like multiply three times, um, Minus three, two times one, add and see what you get, blah, blah, blah. This is a very long process, but usually you don't really need to do that. You can just see. Um, okay, so this is the first step. Now, we determine that when we multiply minus two and nine, we get minus 18. And then when you add minus two and nine, you get seven. Okay, so it's all good. Uh now, uh, so the step, the second step is um, we write six and uh, square. Now I'm gonna have minus two x plus nine x. You see what we're doing now? This and this, we're writing in this form, and then when you look at it, this is the seven x. So this is the same thing. You just like expanded it. You wrote it in this way, and then, and then we write minus three. Don't ever forget to write this minus three. Okay, and uh, so now what we gotta do? So this is the steps. Okay, <laughs> so what we now gotta do? 
uh, now we gotta combine the like terms so let's see like uh, usually it's the ones that you choose the smaller number here the bigger number here and then you factor it out so um, we can do this we can do this for now kind of just extra steps to for easier seeing so and uh, now I can see that I can pull out three out of this and I can pull out two out of this and it's gonna make the same equation I'm sorry two uh, gonna pull out two X out of this so gonna have two X three X minus one okay you see we uh, did this now plus now we pull this three out we got a uh, X minus one three X minus one I'm sorry so these are like terms and we can eliminate it and 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 it, now what we get is 2x plus 3 and then we have uh, 3x minus 1 and here here you have it Ta -da! <laughs> okay so we um, expanded this thank you for watching Okay, now these are extra problems for you. Um, they make it such a big deal out of it. Like, oh my God, this problem has so many possibilities. Death seeking technique is to look at each answer choice. Oh yeah, like I have a thousand years to solve this damn problem. So, what you do? You just okay multiply this twenty five. The number of the sum of these two numbers has to be 25 and the multiplication has to be 144 and then this one uh, also you see they tell you uh, find the factors find the possible blah 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 and do all this and blah 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 and finally found this trial, trial and error I hate this so this one is much better. We got uh, 3 times minus 15, we got minus 45. And then um, we got to get minus 4 when we add these two numbers. So when you multiply minus 9 and 5, you get minus 45. When you add minus 9 and plus 5, you get minus 4. And then we go further down. Right here we get... Um, let me write on a separate sheet of paper. Um, Okay, so we're gonna get three oops three x square on oh, my camera is not focusing okay three x square uh minus nine x plus five x minus fifteen equals and not equals three okay <laughs> so we move on. We got three x x minus three plus five x minus three, and then you see we pulled out three out of this one. We pulled out three x out of this one. Then we got these uh, simplify, and then three x plus three, and this is your answer. And it it just so quick with this method. Now. Again, like I mentioned, when this doesn't work, you gotta use the quadratic formula, which I'm not gonna cover in this video, so maybe next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. And thumbs up. Bye. Good luck.